Aida for saying no to someone getting engaged at my wedding? Last week my fiancé and I had our appointments to find my wedding dress and his wedding suit at a wedding clothes store about an hour from where I live. They do everything concerning the wedding party, bride and bridesmaid dresses, groom and groomsman suits, along with other wedding attire. My maid of honor, Ashlyn F23, and my fiancé's best man, Andy M24, have been dating for about three years, and the day before we had the fitting, Andy came to us and asked if he could propose to Ashlyn at the fitting since the four of us were going Toby there. We of course said yes. It was beautiful and we all cried, and so did the workers. He gave a beautiful speech and ah, uh, it was so cute. I had taken a picture and posted it, with their permission, to congratulate them last Friday. Yesterday, I got an angry text message from my fiance's cousin. M31, saying that I needed to have a talk with my fiancé because he said no to the cousin proposing at our wedding. It was mildly funny because my fiancé was sitting next to me at the table with a grouchy look on his face for the past hour, now I know why. I texted the cousin back and told him that if my fiancé said no, I will as. Well. Now his mother, the same freaking aunt that had ammled down last month about who and who we aren't inviting to the wedding, is calling and texting and leaving notes on our Facebook saying they it was unfair to the cousin and his girlfriend that they couldn't get engaged at my wedding eventha we let our friends get engaged. Have to do anything, my fiancé's mother and sister quickly shut their hit down. I love my in-laws, but the people on Facebook who saw the comments are now harassing us about the situation. These are people who we don't even know. Edit. My sill commented on this post. Hi day love you see you this weekend. Aida for choosing not to pay for my daughter's university fees despite paying for her brother's? My 57M daughter Jane 21F has recently been accepted into the university of her choice. Now me and my wife 55F are glad with this news. The only thing is that Jane got accepted to do an English degree. Now Jane, compared to her two brothers Mark 28M and Leo 30M, was quite late in applying to university. When me and my wife asked her at 18 she claimed that she was not ready and wanted to have a little rest, a little rest being going out with friends and traveling the whole of last year with her boyfriend. It should be noted that I supplied Jane with all the money needed for her little rest. Now me and my wife have nothing against Jane doing what she did, she's young and young people live to explore and do what they do, however before me and my wife allowed for Jane to do her thing we made her promise that when she did apply to university it was for a degree that was worth it. Jane was going through a weird phase where she wanted to be many things that were more on the creative side. Fast forward a year later we find out that Jan has gone behind our backs and applied for an English degree. Both Leo and Mark took medical degrees and are no very good, well-paid doctors. One would think that this would motivate Janet to go on the same path but instead she has decided to be, herself. I sat down Jane last night and told her that if she decided to go through with the English degree, I would not support her at all and that she would have to take out her own student loan. At this she began crying claiming that I was the worst date of her and had always favored her brothers over her because I had paid for their university fees. Now this is totally incorrect I did literally pay for her travel all of last year. My sons think that I'm being too harsh and that it should simply support Jane regardless of what she chooses, but is it too much to ask of my daughter to follow through with an actually useful degree? I ate up for going into my daughter's room while she was asleep? My daughter, 23F, brought her girlfriend, 25F, to stay in our house for a few days. It wasn't the first time I, 56F, met her GF but it was the first time we knew she was serious about this girl. They went on to stay in a room that I can safely say usually is my workspace with a spare bed. We moved houses after our kids moved out so our daughter didn't really have a room in this new house. In the morning I noticed I left my tablet stylus pen in their room and I needed it to get on with my work. So I thought I'd wait for them to get up and then I'll get it. I waited an hour and they didn't wake up. So I went into their room, retrieved the pen, walked out and closed the door. I didn't want to wake them up because they had come a long way on a long flight. My daughter later confronted me about it and said she was extremely uncomfortable by what had happened. She said it was inappropriate for me to go in. I was like sure but nothing bad happened. It was not a big deal. She was mad and said what if none of them were wearing something appropriate and she insisted that this was an invasion of her privacy. I told her that was not the case. It really wasn't. I didn't even look but I noticed they were only cuddling and they were asleep so nothing was inappropriate in that sense. 
My daughter left much earlier than planned and demands an apology before ever coming to visit again. I don't think I did something crazy. It Just a second. Does this make me an awe? Aida for not wanting to be driven around by women including my GF. When I, 27M, was a kid, I had a traumatic experience and was in an accident in the school bus which was being driven by a lady. Since then I have always had a phobia of being a passenger in a vehicle being driven by a woman. My mom did not drive and even when my older sister learned to drive, I refused to drive with her Eventha my other siblings did. I have my license, not a car and when I take public transit, I also take the next bus if a woman is driving. This is a phobia and I do not think women should not drive or anything. Recently my GF and I moved in together and she has a car. She is really upset with me as, whenever we go out together I insist on driving her car. She says it feels like I am misogynistic when it's just a phobia. I said I would be okay taking public transit and she can drive her car and we could travel separately but she thinks that is not a solution and that I should get over it, I eat a here? It is not like I am telling her she cannot drive and I apply this rule to everyone even when it inconveniences me. I told her she was free to ask my family about my past. Aida for not handing over my rescue inhaler? So, the story goes, me, my friend, and our significant others planned a road trip for a couple days. We all had three months to plan ahead. For context, my friend's boyfriend and I have asthma. My asthma is so severe that I have disabled parking and an SDIT. I don't know how severe his is, but I feel it's relevant to add that he smokes weed, cigarettes, and vapes. Almost every time we all hang out, he asks to use me inhalers and I give them to him without a second thought. Before we left for the trip, I let my friend know that I didn't have the means to be sharing my inhalers with him. As you've probably already guessed, he asked to use one of my inhalers on the last day of the trip. Gave him one of them to use and thought nothing of it until last night, three weeks later. So, my friend comes to me and says that as her friend, I could have at least given him a few puffs off my inhaler. I told her that she was coming across as selfish for being upset with me over the inhalers that I early on and pay for, and I didn't understand how. She had any place to be upset when I literally shared my inhaler when he asked. She said that the inhaler that I shared with him wasn't my rescue inhaler and therefore didn't help him and she had to watch him suffer on the way home because of it. Asthma medicine shortage aside, I really just don't understand how I was wrong for being concerned about my health, too. I love her and we've been friends for a long time but I just don't see how I was wrong for giving him one inhaler over the other when he didn't even bother to specify which one he wanted. So, am I the SS hole for not giving him my rescue inhaler? Edit, I really appreciate everyone's responses. Thank you, I feel a lot better about defending myself during this disagreement. A couple of things to add. I know it's not sanitary, I disinfect the inhalers every time they get used. I know you're not supposed to share prescriptions, it's just not easy to tell someone, hey I know you. Can't breathe that great but I can't give you something that may or may not help you, they've been together around 3 years and they have kids together. I made sure to establish that I will not be sharing my inhalers with him or anyone else ever again. Aida for refusing to pay for my childhood's bully cancer treatment? So apparently my former classmate Brad, 26M, has been diagnosed with a rare form of non-Hodgkin lymphoma and his family is raising 50k on GoFund Mado help cover the cost of his treatment. Brad used to treat me like SHT in high school, he was constantly making fun of my weight and calling me offensive nicknames. I can't say I felt good when I learned about his diagnosis, but I didn't shed any tears either. A few days ago this girl Anna added all of our former classmates to a messenger chat group, she sent us the GoFundMe link and asked us to donate whatever we could, even if it was a small amount. She also said to send a thumbs up after we have donated. Pretty much all of the people in the group donated, except for me. Anna noticed, tagged me, asking me if I saw her message. That's when I wrote that I don't plan to donate because of the way Brad treated me in high school. Anna and a few other guys said that I was acting like Onshole, that we are grown-ups now and this stuff is the past. I left the group because I didn't want to argue with these people. None of them stood up when Brad was bullying me and most of them laughed at his dumb jokes. So Aida here? Aida for pointing out hypocritical rules at my sister's wedding? My sister, 28F, got married one week ago. I, 26F, have a son, 4M, who is the only grandchild on my side of the family. Everyone love him and he loves she's aunt. During early wedding planning, my sister suggested that she wanted to have a kid-free wedding, but I didn't think she was serious as it was so early on. 
Then, when the invitations came out, I saw on the FAQ page that this was, in fact, a kid-free wedding. I talked to our mother about ITAND how I was shocked, but she stayed neutral and I didn't talk to anyone else about it. Now I am the tone to start fights, so I obliged and found a babysitter. I was a bit upset, but I tried to still be supportive. The wedding day comes and my fiancé and I take our seats and wait for the ceremony to start. Waiting, I see my cousin sit behind us with her three-year-old daughter. I was shocked. It was made very clear to everyone about the no-kid rule so I was sure that my family, who adores my sister, would tell my cousin something. Instead, everyone said hito them and talked about how cute the child was. I was appalled and knew my sister would be upset. At the reception, I went up to my mom and asked her what she thought of my cousin brining her child. My mom said that it didn't matter that much and that way should all just let it go. But I was furious. How was this fair at all? At one point during the wedding, my cousin, sister, and I went to go take a photo at the photo booth area. After the photo, I turned to my cousin and jokingly said, I guess kid-free wedding means different things to different people. My cousin was shocked and looked at my sister and my sister told me to knock it off and that everything was fine. I told her why should I? I followed the rules and left my son at home. My sister told me to calm down and I told her I was calm just confused. I guess we drew attention from some of the other guests and my mother came over and pulled me aside. She told me to stop causing a scene and I said I'm not causing a scene, but simply asking why different rules apply to different people. My sister came over and told me to stop and that I was ruining her special day. I couldn't believe it. My fiancé and I left because I could not stand Toby in the same room as my sister then. Ever since the wedding, my mom has been telling me to apologize. I keep telling her that my sister should apologize to M.E. I haven't spoken to my sister since and I don't plan on it until I get an apology. Aida? Edit. People keep saying that I should not have brought this up at the wedding. But when should I have brought it up? It seems worse to bring it up after the fact doesn't it? Edit number 2. To be clear, I originally wasn't mad at my sister. I was upset at my cousin and slightly upset at my family for not saying anything when they saw the child. I didn't want a fight to happen, just for them to hold her accountable. However, I got upset at my sister when she got mad at me for bringing it up. I feel like I deserve to let my cousin know how I really felt and I wanted my sister's support since I followed the rules.